Hi there everyone, we are going to have a look and see what is coming through for you. This is like a free roam reading, we're going to see where we're going and this is for all star signs so if you are watching this it can be a sign in itself that there are some messages for you which I think can be very interesting, exciting, uh, we could definitely tap into certain things that perhaps we didn't see coming so yeah that is what we're going to do. I've got the cards ready as well so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly grab them but whilst I do that I just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal services, personal readings, um, anything like that it's all linked down below and also on my website so there's of course the personal tarot readings there's rituals to manifest different areas of your life black magic energy removal there's also healing work as well and then also on my website there are intention manifesting items which have actually been handmade meditated with and staged these items help you with different areas of your life to manifest them but also there's an entire five star review section at the bottom of my website for that so <laughs> you know check it out if you're interested but uh, yeah there's you know there's bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels embroidered cards there's also you know like pouches with different spices and herbs and things like that um, and there's also candles sage bundles teas etc everything is honestly there <laughs> okay so let's begin what do you need to know oh wow communication communication as soon as i saw the ace of swords i was like wow someone is going to be speaking their mind someone is going to tell you what they think someone is going to be open towards you there is a real sense here of clarity there is a real sense of finally having that peace of mind to know what they have been thinking but not only is this communication because you know some people can come towards you and they can just say a bunch of random things and it might not even be the truth, you know what I mean? Like, it's just it's just talk. The most interesting thing here is that someone that you've wanted to communicate with you is going to communicate with you, but in a very clear and direct fashion, where they actually tell you the truth. This is very important. They will tell you the truth. They will communicate with you properly. That is very important because I feel like so many of you have just wanted clarity you've just wanted the truth and you've just been thinking to yourself like what in the world like, I wonder what they're really thinking I wonder what they're really feeling like I wonder if they really care I just wonder and you know it's it's also very similar as well when people want closure like a lot of people are just like I just want communication I just want anything but you want the truth right because people can just say random things they can also say things just to not like hurt you and you know or they can say things also sometimes just to hurt you even though that's maybe not what they're feeling so good news here is that you're going to have clear communication which gives you a sense of victory and you know this is an epiphany energy as well because I feel like they're going to have an epiphany to also want to communicate with you to want to talk to you and there we go yeah a real sense of peace with this It's been hard. It's been hard for this person because you've got the seven of wands, right? They've had challenges and obstacles and they felt very unsteady, very uneasy at times. They've just felt so like wibbly wobbly, like unsure. And they've had their own personal obstacles to overcome. But the interesting thing here is that the seven of wands showcases an energy that goes against all odds. Against all odds, they will communicate with you. Against all odds, they will be proactive towards you. Against all odds, they will want to make those moves towards you. And that's a very powerful energy. Even with the page of cups, slowly but surely they will emotionally express themselves to you they will take action these are going to be baby steps because they do easily sort of stumble over themselves and feel fear and get kind of overwhelmed but the most amazing thing here is they're going to try and they're going to try in a way where they come towards you where you don't have to chase after them you don't have to run after them say to yourself i will not chase after them because what i'm seeing here is that so many of you have just felt so like, oh, what's the word? Like sometimes embarrassed just by chasing or embarrassed by opening up so much and then literally getting like peanuts in return and getting like breadcrumbs. 
and and you just don't want that anymore. And so until things are much more mutual in this situation, you don't need to be chasing. You don't need to be the one always like trying to initiate things or overdoing things. So say to yourself, I'm not chasing. Comment it down below. I'm not chasing. Powerful affirmation, you're throwing it into the universe, but you're also like reaffirming to yourself the feeling of having done that in the past and just not feeling good about it. And it just, you know, no matter how much you like this person, it's it's a sense of like, wow, you know, it, it may not make me feel happy if I, you know, do it. I see so many of you, you know, having messaged also other people in the past and then thinking to yourself, oh, I should just let them like message me, you know. And yeah, I think this is quite a strong thing also with this person here is let them come to you because they're going to, they're going to. They will take baby steps, okay? They may not make big strides like you do. They may not address the elephant straight away, okay? They'll address the seahorse first, <laughs> okay? But they'll do so in their, you know, in their way. And I don't think you need to like run to constantly do it. Oh, look, speaking of animals, we've got a lot of animals actually across the board. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles here, yes, they have, they really do see a lot of value in you. And we've got two aces, which is openings, right? The aces are like the portals towards progression, the portal towards movement, the portal towards uh, progress. Um, and I think that that's quite a significant thing uh, that that is absolutely coming your way. I'm also going to look into the Mercury Realms Edition 2 cards. I'm going to do like a little sandwich in between. Should we do the sandwich first? Let's do that first, actually. Ooh, having dreams of you. That's very powerful, isn't it? Like, literally having dreams of you. So they, yeah, they, they can't escape you. If, if you want to know one thing for sure, is that they absolutely cannot escape you. That's just not something that is happening for them. It's not, you know, they, they absolutely do dream about you. And that also triggers them in the morning because they do remember certain aspects of that dream. They don't remember everything, but it's enough. It is absolutely enough for them to think, oh my gosh, I need to do something about this. Yep. I mean, isn't that just a confirmation of what I literally just said? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, like, I, I spoke, I, I spent a lot of time talking about this. So, you know, then there's that. I got uh, mad at you for being right. So they are realizing that, you know, you've been right the entire time. They could have got mad at you in their head, you know, for being right and for being correct in certain situations. Or, you know, in person, they could have got, you know, a little bit more defensive and things like that. But they're realizing that you're right. And that is an epiphany. That is a realization. That is a reason for them to come towards you and be like, oh my gosh, you know, I am sorry. And I do want to work on these. I do want to make things right, but I need to go at my own pace. And I have been triggered in the past. I do have issues and challenges I'm actively working through. These are things that they will tell you bit by bit, okay? Bit by bit. And there you go. Okay, communication is coming your way. Wow. I can't believe I just spent such a long time like talking about communication and then boom, it just comes out with like, you know, the second card that I pull for the message cards. <laughs> well, you know, that's a good confirmation that when I read tarot, I actually see the message that literally is worded as well. So I think that's a good confirmation for you. It gives you more clarity, I think, you know, rather than thinking, nah, does that really mean that? <laughs> like you can like literally like feel, you know, the energies of it. Sorry, I just like keep, I just hit my, um, let me just move over a little bit. Keep hitting my um, elbow on the radiator. Okay, should we just pull an extra card? Yeah, let's pull another card as well. Okay. Cool. Oh, text message. Okay. Phone call. <laughs> Here are all the ways in which you're going to get communication from them. So, um, dun, 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 text message, dun, 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 phone call. <laughs> there you go. Okay. If, if it wasn't any more clearer that you're going to get communication from this person, here it is. <laughs> oh, look, 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 you just Instagram message as well. <laughs> so it could be also a message on social media as well that you, you get. All right, well, there you go. There are lots of messages coming your way from this person. And let's top it off with some more tarot cards to see what other information we can pick up on in regards to them. What do you need to know about this situation? That's what I want to know. So you've got the Six of Swords here, which shows that they have had some emotional struggles and troubles and, and baggage from the past, which has really made things quite difficult for them, you know, in order to come forward and, and be as progressive towards you as they would like to be. It's definitely been a struggle for them, but they really do want to make things work and they do really want to progress because even in the Six of Swords, like they're trying, right? They're like actively trying to row a boat and steer it in the right direction and, and go somewhere. 
and, and at least they're trying. And I think that's really quite significant is that they still want to try. It's not like they're sitting there blindfolded, not wanting to even bother. So that's huge. And the communication energy, I mean, it's come out in four, four of these six cards for the message cards. That's, that's not a coincidence. And by the way, I've never done a reading where I've got, you know, text message, phone call, going to reach out soon, Instagram message all in one. So this is a big reading. Remember, I will not chase. Don't. This is a big sign. They're actually going to come to you. They're going to reach out to you. So even another affirmation is they will reach out to me. They will reach out to me. So you can even comment that one down below as well. I like the affirmations because, you know, it kind of just... Um, and I remember someone saying this in the comment section below is that they were just feeling so low and then they sort of saw the message being spread in the comment section and it kind of gave them that sort of power and, and joy that there's so many more people in that kind of situation because um, I know that these readings resonate with so many of you across the board and that they didn't feel alone in that situation, you know, and, and I think that that's a really powerful thing as well is that you're not alone in this situation um, but also you've got your own power as well. Yeah, okay, so... Sorry, I'm shuffling off camera because I don't want to mess up this spread, but I want you to see what I'm doing at the same time. Uh, do I have enough cards? No, I need more. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I need two more, I think. Or, you know, whatever comes out is fine. Yeah, they're fed up of this cycle. Ten of Swords, they want to, they want to end this pain, they want to end this frustration, this sadness, you know, um, being mad at you and, and creating this this whole scenario and situation. Um, the 10 leads to the ace. So I think what's going on here is that they do feel like, you know, life is not really that great. And they're starting to feel like, actually, do you know, what? it was very good when I was talking to you. It's It's been great when, you know, I was interacting with you and, and being open and forward and progressive. So that's exactly what they're trying to do here is that they're actually trying to do something about things. Because when they don't do anything, they feel like things are worse. Ten of Pentacles, okay? So you see the Ten of Swords, and then you've got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is them thinking, you are a treasure test. You know, you are so you have so much value to you. I need to progress things with you. I need to make things work with you. How could I not? How could I not go in that direction? How can I not make things work? It, you know, it just feels not good. Um, so I want to progress things with you because you make me feel good. I want to... I want to because I see your value. That's what it is. See? Even King of Cups here as well. Like emotionally feeling that connection towards you. Feeling like you are right. That you bring everything they need to the table. That they were the ones like just kind of shutting down at times. And kind of it was all because of their trauma and their childhood and things from the past that really got to them. But they're realizing that's actually got nothing to do with you. So why blame you for something when it was never your fault? And they want to start things again. Because look here. Okay? This is very important. If there's one thing you need to pay attention to in the reading, it's this. We have the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords, right? So that Ten goes to a new cycle, new beginning. Ten of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles. Again, refresh is exactly what's going to happen. Um, a real sense of an opening. And the King of Cups is them emotionally expressing themselves to you, coming towards you, and bit by bit, little by little, step by step, emotionally opening themselves up to you so that you know where you stand with them as well. Do, 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 do. Ace to the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so we've got the Ace and the Two. So this is about them being much more harmonious towards you. Taking action, communicating. Uh, Four of Pentacles here is about stability and security. So again, they go step by step. It's a bit like you double the one, you get the two. Double the two, you get the four. You know, they, they go step by step. Six of Wands is about victory. They come towards you. This is them like really coming towards you to take action. And then you've got here the Queen of Wands, which is them finding you extremely attractive. Like, you, honestly, look, I'll tell you one thing for sure. You are very, very attract attractive to them. And they've also had some very physical and intimate dreams in regards to you. And they absolutely have just fell for your personality, I really feel. And also just how, like, loving you are. You know, I, I see this cat energy as personality. I see the energy also of the Queen of Wands as extremely desirable and just so... Oh, gosh, fiery, passion, uh, like passionate, uh, exciting but also correct. <laughs> correct, correct, correct. Okay, so this is what we have right here. Now, 
If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items which are on my website. And definitely do take care, everyone. I will see you all very, very soon. And this is your reading. Also, I have TikTok and Instagram. If you want to follow me on that, feel free to do so since I post short readings on there every single day. And yes, I will see you all very soon. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.